first. The school year may not be over just yet, but you might have to start planning for next year. Yeah, about 3,000 Pasco County kids need to figure out a new way to get to school in the fall because the district is cutting bus routes. Today, county commissioners explained what they're doing to try to protect your kids as they get to and from school. 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Clo joins us live along State Road 54 in Pasco County. Shannon, parents and board members have the same concern, but what safety measures are they working on? Well, Carolina, today school board members telling us that they think crossing guards would be a huge help, especially in areas that I'm in right now. Just take a look out here on the road. We've got about six lanes of traffic here on State Road 52. We've been seeing it. Cars are flying by and school board members saying they see cars speeding. They say they even see some kids here on the road not crossing in the crosswalks. We also are aware that there are some schools that don't have sidewalks leading up to them or in and around a child's path. So what I did today is I reached out to the county to see what sidewalk projects they have in place. They tell me they actually are working on several right now, one of them being in the area of Pasco Middle School. And even with all of this, we heard from parents today who have concerns for their children. They say they work so they can't drive their kids and they worry what happens when the weather is bad and it's raining, their kids can't walk to and from school. Well, the district telling us this is all because they're short around 54 bus drivers. Are there going to be more boots on the ground for safety of the children? I could quit tomorrow and go to Hillsboro and make 1666 first day. That's what you need to consider. I went, went by Burger King yesterday. They're hiring at $16 an hour. And the district says eliminating what they call these courtesy routes will hopefully get kids to school on time. They say this is all because of that bus driver shortage. And they say ultimately at the end of the day, all of this is boiling down to money.